Hi guys, after um, Axel, so one of the spin-offs of Arclix, we have now 11 desktops that we support with Arch and Link Tweak Tool. I thought let's have a look around on the internet rather than this to watch and, and see what people say, what Arch-based Linux distros should you know about. So Manjaro Linux, that's covered, um, and Devro OS, that's covered. Arclix the that's covered and then Parabola is not covered not installed it yet Black Arch and I thought why not Reborn OS so I went to the internet and I found a link and I've already downloaded an ISO but then I got the idea why not build one right because if you if you have a look at the files so always go to files and analyze which is the last one I took the one from testing I believe and I downloaded it mm, no not here anyway I downloaded the last available um, ISO that was now <coughs> I've built the ISO so this is the GitLab hub uh, <laughs> yeah GitLab eh? project and there is one thing I didn't see yes I can build the ISO I had to do some manual interventions but the ISO is built without installer so you're stuck with something live without an installer you can't get the system on your hardware VirtualBox VMware QMU so I'm asking I've asked the developer how should we or can we uh, the can we is is it possible to actually build reborn OS rather than download because the the timing was already a bit well yeah, 2021 October is the one I find here that's the LTS I suppose right it's around October so nothing in 2022 nevertheless let's install then an older version so this guy is the guy that I've built myself 2022 0622 like I said I can't do a lot of with it because there is nothing um, to get the live environment on my system so I have to refer it back to something that has been built like um, eight months ago all right let's open this one and test and that's of course the the thing always tests the arch Linux tweet tool on it and see if we can put this one reborn OS as number 12 as supported super nice decoration thank you very much super thank you very much thank you very much quit telegram and quit discord all right now the problem with these um isos is this is gnome and gnome can be like i wanted to say the s word um uh, right forget about it so just showing you this is what we need to have but as you see it's rather unresponsive when I click in anything so if that's the case then remember ah gnome ah Wayland okay let's use something else so I told that yesterday I think uh, somebody if one app doesn't work switch right it's simple as that switch and this already contains I believe the old one 2021 yeah 20 safe start up everything is set and it's actually already installed which is not a good idea for the tutorial so let's go ahead and say to the system oh, oh, oh. where was that again options advanced UFI if I do a switch like that he knows already to take the ISO yes so that's the default CD yeah, I think that's the line and uh, make everything bigger and now we're actually booting up from the ISO the other one was already the installed system so reborn OS <coughs> alternatives enough in this Arch Linux world of ours but Gnome and Wayland and virtual machines well they don't like each other very much we have the reborn os installer i have no idea what all these differences are so you ask the developer 
I'm gonna use just the one that pops up. No proxy here. I'm gonna ask United Kingdom and I have to click more or less here. Paris, Brussels. Belgium is fine if I click it like this. So for the guys who are new at um, Linux, there used to be something called Antergos and Antergos had a CNCHI thing and that's the installer. So it's not Calamar in this case, it's the CNCHI, very uh, easy word to say. Anyway, as long as it works, right? And here we get the, cho the choices back in the days in Artergos we had also let me do my thing, right? That's base. In the Arclinx D, there's also this base thing, bare installation. It's a black thing and you type the commands and you'll be in complete control of every package that's on there. Or you decide to have all these possibilities. There's only one, one disadvantage in this way of organizing. I'm the kind of guy that wants to combine XFCE with i3 or LFWM or with BSPWM. Combining a desktop with something is something I, I, I like. I tried to install Regolith, that was an, a fail, so it did not install, got me a an, message and I had to do it all over again. So I'm gonna go for the simple XFCE this time. Accessibility packages if you want them. Performance system, a war, yes, of course, that's the fun on in Arch. Yes, we'll have some key issues from time to time, but yes, the fun is there. So, some extra stuff you can install, and you decide. Next, Arch user repository disclaimer, right? The collection of user submitted package builds, the supplement software available, and so on. Community driven is not supported by Arch or Reborn OS. I tell the system do whatever you want with my VMware machine. Yep, I'm sure. Do whatever you want with my servers from Arch. And this will erase everything and so on automatically. Keep simple and stupid. Oh, yeah, we can use System Deboot rather than Group 2. So that's hopefully. We hope that that uh, will come in Calamaris in the coming years, let's say. Not months, but I haven't read anything about it that is in, um, in build. So, we'll see. If you want systemd boot, there is ariser.au, the website, and that's where you go for systemd boot. Just gonna type. This needed to be a little bit longer, I believe, the password. So, oh my God, again. Password do not match. Let's try this one again. Okay. Login automatically. Let's see how it looks when we, I don't know, GDM, eh? if we log in. Are you really sure? And off we go. So we can install some stuff from their own repository. Evo Pop, Flat Remix, Hello Icon, Numix Icons, No Sardian Surfing. Oh, right. Choose your icons. Choose the pieces you like. While we wait, we can have a look around. One of the things you need to do in these sit these um, virtual things. Just tell them how many pixels you have, but I was too lazy. I say as long as I can read it, I was happy. And voila, you've got yourself everything you need. What's the welcome application? That's this one. Utilities. What's this? <laughs> Okay, system backup, crop customizer. Not a fan of Pi AKM, never really got to understand how it works. If kernels, the latest kernels are not in there and it stops at some point in time. 
bleach pit guys had issues with that I started to bleach my system and then I got an unresponsive system at the end take care with all these things try it out before you do a clean install so if you say I'm gonna do an installation anyway that's the moment you try it, you try out these system cleaner things. So be sure to back up everything. What's this one? Fire? I don't know. Sure. What's that? What is fire? I would think it would be Firefox or something, but I don't know. Reborn OS Fire. Okay, it's a uh, system where you can. Ooh, that's better. Awesome. Right, so this looks like an ATT, right? Arch Linux Tweak Tool. Install this, install that, install this, install that. Cool. Display managers. Mm hmm. Why are we writing this, right? Let's use this one. Then I won't learn anything. That's true. Kernel management. Click, click. Fetching versions. If it works, it's a beautiful thing, right? You can click here. Install a Linux Zen is not difficult. Eh? Sudo pacno minus s Linux Zen. But installing a different version that's already a little bit more tricky in the meantime let's see okay 70 percent doing things the wrong way okay this is of course the super power right just give me anything I like check for updates up to date Five point fourteen. And what does my arch thing says here? Five point eighteen. So I need to update. Are you ready? Almost. Or is this just the updating part? Now we're installing, we can still have a look around. That's by AKM. Or that's something else. Yep, and that's him. It's on the AUR. Never quite understood how it, they do it. Linux kernel, right? And it says here, that's the first one. And I think, no, that's not the first one. We're in 5.14. And here it says 5.4. And it stops. I don't get this way of thinking. Probably too stupid for it. And here is 14. And even if we refresh, we get stuck here. We can go all the way back, like years back, 
but we can't have 5.13. So I'm not getting this application. And there is Taser as well. Linux is getting installed here. Oh, there is a Gonzale. Look at that. <laughs> For the technical guys. PK execute bash minus C Pacman minus S needed no confirm staser. Go install this. Is it already installed? There he is. Now staser takes a while to load up if you've been using it like years, like rolling OS. So never reinstall, but just keep rolling then you collect a lot of garbage and that goes over all your garbage and it takes a while again this one is a tool that i say oh, watch out right first make backups make sure that everything is safe then yeah then you can try it out we're done so yes none of the cleaners i don't use cleaners I'll clean myself. All right, so this is our greeter. It's a ah, difficult password. Voila. And this is, of course, your default XFCE. And then we go to the settings, to the settings manager, to the display. Tell him, hey, I've got more real estate. I've got this apply and keep this configuration close and then we have a system almost I guess it's up to date but let's have a look sudo pacman minus s y y u passwords control c so password I want this password I am first the current one that is the longer one and this is what I like voila update does it exist nope so we go back and minus s y y u oh that was an enter small password ah misery misery What? Is happening? Well, I'll fix it later. But what I'm gonna do now, I'm gonna clone it, this thing. Oh, no, no, no. Stop, stop, stop. The mouse should respond. Where is my mouse? But this I have, mouse is gone. What was the key combo again? Ah, there he is. Voila, we're gonna shut this down and then we're gonna clone this. That's um, better and work on the clone and install the Arch Linux tweak tool and see how that works. All right, cheers.